Last time I took the canoe sailing and ran into a problem. Solution, build an outrigger. The plywood I'm using is 1 8 inch thickness. Uh, it was originally a 4 by 8 sheet that I cut down uh, for another project. Uh, so this is me adding the extra, uh, I got about a foot and a half to make it 9 feet total. I'm not using a pattern, I just drew the curve that I wanted the front and end to be and then cut it out. Uh, it looked alright, so I went with it. This is where the stitching glue comes from, uh, drilling holes in the bottom and we're going to stitch it up with copper wiring. Uh, so you can see I just thread it through, twist it, and I'm going to do this all along the bottom of the hole. Added thwarts to give the boat its shape. And now we're going through tightening the stitches so we close up all the gaps between the two boards. Mixing the fiberglass resin with some wood uh, gives it that it's supposed to be peanut butter mixture to fill the keel with. It makes me think more of like coconut. <laughs> Frosting. Coconut frosting. We added two bulkheads and uh, are filleting it in with some more of that uh, coconut frosting. This is a U-bolt being epoxied in. It's where the outrigger will be attached to the crossbar. Cutting the top was just a matter of tracing the board from underneath. Uh, before nailing it down, I did add some positive flotation there. If you look closely, you can see the half inch gunwale, which will be used to nail down the top. Mm -hmm. 
The aluminum square tubing is being used to hold down the top, but also to give it shape where it curves up at the end. The camera cut out the last 30 minutes so you don't get to see us applying the last piece of fiberglass. Next up is to take the canoe to the lake, test the outrigger with the lead board, and then on to building a canoe cart. 